Hi Leo, welcome to your February reading. We're getting a little bit of a late start here, but everything is on time. Everything is in divine timing. So I hope you guys are having a good month so far. Energies are a little weird. We're in Mercury retrograde. We're gonna do super intuitive because with Mercury retrograde, we need to remember to listen to our gut. Like right now, this is all happening directly across from you guys. So it's all happening in your seventh house. And because of the position that it's in, it's very easy for past relationships to pop up, past issues, past exes. And I think that the more you allow yourself to kind of stand firm with what you believe in, your truth, and the way that you kind of guide yourself through your intuition, because really, Mercury retrograde, um, there is no such thing as logic, right? It's all about the intuition. And so when that person shows up, if you're not standing firm in your truth, then you can easily backpedal and create some chaos for yourself. And that's not what we're wanting. That's not what we're wanting. You definitely have some decisions on directions that you want to go in. May have to do with an Aquarius. I feel like the Aquarius isn't really, um, how do I want to put this? I feel like the Aquarius may not be acting like an adult. <laughs> That's the nicest way that I can say that. Um, oh, by the way, I am wearing some new Fearless Intuition gear. Wild Love Paradise presents Love Soul. So if you guys want to go over to my website, fearlessintuition.net, click on merchandise, you can get, we have these, we have hoodies. So baseball tees, hoodies, stickers, we have phone cases. The phone cases are really cute. I love them. Um, and we have a goddess mug, which normally I have on my desk and I do not have it. Of course, I didn't have it for um, cancer either. So here we are. But, okay, so Leo. <clears throat> we have the Page of Swords, Two of Wands, and the star and then we have the six of cups the four of pentacles and the ten of swords you've got to let go of this it's already painful leo it's already painful it already Oh, I didn't have the mug for Gemini, not Cancer, Gemini. Um, it already feels like it's an ending anyways. And there's, we have to understand that when things end, no matter how painful they are, we have to remember that that rejection or that person being removed from our energy is literally the universe protecting you from yourself. Because you would stay in something that just kept going around and around and around and around and there was no growth happening and there was just resentment there and toxicity and pain or you would go back into it. If it wasn't this painful, you wouldn't learn the lesson, right? If it was easy to go through the lesson, we would never, we would never finish it. You see what I'm saying? So let, we've got to let go of the past. And you have to release the expectations of the future as you're letting go of the past. And that's, that's really not an easy thing to do. So being kind to yourself right now, not being super, super harsh, and really standing firm in your truth on what you want to do and where you're going. Now, if this doesn't have to do with an Aquarius, this has everything to do with your purpose. There's something that you have to release. There's something that you have to let go of in order to step fully into your power. 
right? So let's see what this page of swords is, this air energy that's not quite acting like an adult right now. Okay. So this is about listening to your intuition and really standing firm in your truth. Um, could also be a Pisces energy that you're dealing with, but we have the High Priestess with the Page of Swords. So accepting what your gut instinct, and you already know it to be true, Leo, right? You already know the situation. <laughs> Oh, look at this. And see, here's the thing. Once you listen to your intuition, once you fully, once you end whatever this painful situation was, you can now, you have options of, of not, it, it's, there's not even a question of if you're going to create something new, if you're going to create a new foundation, if you're going to plant seeds of intention, there's not, it's not a what if, there's no if you do it, it's now when you do it. And it's not how am I going to do it, it's just I'm going to do it. There is no question anymore. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's a very firm intention for you to go in a particular direction. And there's a very firm intention for you to fully stand in your truth. Now, um, some of you need to contact your mom, I'm hearing. The Empress can be the mother figure. Um, but I think it is more about opportunities for you. I think it's more about growth and more about opportunities and more about recognizing your role. And, ooh, really committing to it, nice. So that Taurus energy, Mars is in Taurus right now, and that can be kind of a drag. Um, but we have the Hierophant on the star. And that Hierophant is about commitment. It's about leveling up. It's about, um, how do I want to put this? So it's a spiritual leveling up. It's an educational leveling up. It's going back to school. It's learning something new about your spiritual gifts or your spirituality. Um, it's leveling up in a relationship. It's committing to somebody else, right? Whatever it is that you are leveling up with, that's what this is going to represent for you. And recognizing that you're making space it's like a fresh new start it's like a fresh new beginning and and really um oh man yeah and and letting go of this ten of cups being an illusion and actually making it more of a reality that ten of cups isn't so much an illusion anymore maybe it was in the past but you're also raising your vibration to connect with somebody that you have, um, that you resonate deeply with their own energy. You know, connecting to somebody that feels like home. And once you clear out space and once you realize your true power and you really step into that Empress role, you start attracting that Ten of Cups and you start creating more for yourself but if you stay stuck in this four of pentacles where the fear of losing everything is constantly surrounding you then you're going to have more lack you're going to have more pain instead of allowing the universe to flow with you so There's definitely this need. Oh, that's what the need is. How do we flow? How do we flow? Ace of Cups. With the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, okay. So the Ace of Cups for me, yes, it can be about a new relationship. Absolutely. But before that new relationship even shows up, we have to create an Ace of Cups moment or moments, plural, for ourselves, 
And what does that mean? That means self-care. And I'm not talking about the external self-care. I'm not talking about that stuff that we have you know, doing, you know, taking the bath, creating dinner, or like making dinner for yourself, uh, buying dinner for yourself, buying yourself flat. Like that's all, that stuff's all great. I love that stuff. That's, it's wonderful. Doing a face mask, all the good things. This is about that internal love. And the narrative, the pessimistic, negative, toxic narrative that we have on repeat If you are having a hard time releasing all of this stuff so that you can step into a new beginning, I'm having the Mastering Detachment Club course. I had it this summer. I'm bringing it back Saturday because I want people to start manifesting their lives in really big, positive, abundant ways. And one of the best ways to do that is to learn how to detach yourself from expectations. Let go of the past. And it's not an easy thing to do. So I want to I want to I want to show you guys how it's possible to be able to do that. And the way that you sort of shift your mind, shift your perspective to create abundance for yourself. But that's not possible if you keep on slipping back into past cycles and past patterns and past belief systems and keep blocking yourself because of how much pain you're holding you don't allow yourself to process all of that pain and process this ending it will be much more painful for you to for you to shift your perspective it'll be more difficult Queen of Swords on the Ten of Swords. That air sign, man, they leveled you, but they didn't take you down. How do I, it, it, I, I don't know if that makes sense. They, did, they can't keep you down. That's what it is. They might have leveled you in that moment, but the Queen of Wands, no, she is confident. And she's open and she's creative and she's abundant and she knows that she can win. However, that negative self-talk. So we have the six of wands, the five of swords and the nine of cups. That negative self-talk, this can be a sabotage moment. Mm. You tell yourself that you don't deserve things. You limit yourself into thinking because humans, we limit ourselves so much. 100%. I will tell you that if you allow yourself to dream bigger than where you are right now, the universe is going to give you so much more than what you even asked for. Because we limit ourselves so much, you know? So create that... Create that flow for yourself minus the expectations doesn't matter what the outcome is it matters the journey that you're going on uh the water energy the scorpio really wants to get together and maybe have a new beginning i'm not sure if you're in for that um i feel like it would be if you have some friends that you want to go out if you have a scorpio friend that wants to take you out do it I know we're in the middle of a pandemic still. You can go for a walk. You can go do things. And really allow yourself to shift your perspective because you have some really amazing energies coming up for you in February to utilize. And if you're not allowing yourself to remember who you are, if you're not allowing yourself to dream really, really big, if you're not, if you're keeping yourself very limited going to be hard to to utilize all of these energies and you just you guys deserve it after everything that you've been through and after everything you're about to go through with saturn being in your seventh house like all of that right there are a lot of lessons that you're going to be learning when it comes to this aquarius energy and it is going to level you up mind body and spirit 
I mean, I can't even tell you guys how refined you're going to be after this. And if you didn't want to be refined, oops. <laughs> I mean, everybody has to kind of go, everybody has to go through it once, at least once. You know? I mean, Virgo's going to have to go through it in their relationship stuff next when Saturn, in two and a half years, when Saturn gets into Pisces. So everybody goes through it. This is your time. It's your time to level up. It's your time to um, dream big. All right, you guys. I love you. Come join me in the Mastering Detachment class. Also, the memberships. Amazing things on the memberships. If you're missing out on those six-month forecast readings that I usually do at the beginning of the year, they're all over on the memberships. Any of the levels, you can get those. Um, we also have a level where we do um, full and new moon rituals and we do um, meditations with those rituals. And any membership level, you get 10% off all of my services. So <clears throat> you can click join underneath this video or you can go to Patreon. All of that information is in the description box. I also have a love soul astrology reading that's only limited for Valentine's Day for February. So if you're interested in that, I have a few spots left. All of that information is in the description box. I love you guys. Have a wonderful February and I'll see you soon. Bye.